Hello friends, once again, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we have brought you a video that, if you watch the entire story of Gautama Buddha, will help you understand the true meaning of life. According to Gautama Buddha, a person's duties are explained as follows. A living being is the master of their own actions. Our actions are generated by ourselves. If one performs good deeds, the results will also be good. The four sights of Buddha include seeing an old person, a sick person, a corpse, and an ascetic or wandering monk. From these sights, Gautama's charioteer, Chandak, explained to him the nature of old age, sickness, death, and the life of an ascetic. Friends, what did Gautama Buddha see that caused him great distress, leading him to renounce worldly life? Prince Siddhartha was raised with great love and care by King Shuddhadana as he lost his mother's love just seven days after his birth. According to astrologers, there was a possibility that he might become a renunciant, so the worried king did not want the prince to witness any suffering. One day in his adolescence, the prince expressed his desire to go for a forest excursion. With the king's permission, he mounted a beautiful chariot and set off for the forest. As people heard about this, they gathered along the royal road to catch a glimpse of him welcoming him with showers of flowers. Siddhartha's eyes fell upon an extremely old man. His back was bent, his eyes were sunken, his stomach was touching his back, and all the hair on his body had turned white. He was barely able to walk, trembling with every step. Siddhartha asked his charioteer, Charioteer, who is this person? The charioteer replied, Prince, this is a very old man. He was once just like you age has brought him to this condition. Siddhartha asked, Will we also become like this one day? The reply was, With advancing age, everyone must go through this. The prince became saddened and abandoned his desire to continue the excursion, returning to the palace. When the king learned of this, he ordered his minister to ensure that the prince would not be exposed to the sight of old people. Once again, during another excursion, the prince encountered a person who was crouched on the ground, writhing in pain. The prince stopped the chariot and asked, Charioteer, who is this person? The charioteer replied, This person is suffering from illness. The prince asked, What causes illness? The charioteer replied, This is the nature of the body. The prince then asked, Can anyone share this person's suffering? The charioteer replied, Prince, this pain must be borne by the one who suffers. No one else can share it. In the Buddhist Dhamma, Gautama Buddha referred to God as a mere figment of the imagination. In the Dhamma, one cannot accept the existence of God without investigating it. Buddha represents a higher state of mental consciousness, and one who attains it is called Buddha. Gautama Buddha himself said, I am not a god. Siddhartha's face broke out in sweat, and he returned home in distress. When the king found out, he became worried and ordered his ministers to ensure that no old or sick person would be allowed near the palace for about three quarters of a mile. Meanwhile, the prince pondered over the fact that if old age and illness are the nature of the body, there must be a solution. A few days later, the prince set out on another excursion. This time, he encountered a funeral procession. People were mourning, and upon inquiring, the charioteer explained that someone had died, and the lifeless body was being taken to be cremated. The prince asked, Does everyone have to die? The charioteer replied, It is the law of the world that anyone who is born must eventually die, and then they are cremated. In Buddhism, you are not defined by any ideological label, but by your actions and state of being. This is why Buddha is considered human, but he is also viewed as divine, similar to how Jesus was born as a human, but was a form of God. The prince, distressed, returned home and began contemplating the causes of these sufferings. He thought that if there is suffering, there must be a cause, 
and if there is a cause, there must also be a solution. He decided to seek that solution. Sensing his mental state, his father arranged his marriage to prevent him from renouncing the world. After some time, he also had a son, but the transient nature of life continued to trouble his heart. Finally, one night, he left his wife Yashodara and newborn son Rahul, renouncing his royal life to become a wandering ascetic. Later, through meditation and wisdom, he attained nirvana and became known as Lord Buddha, renowned across the world. If you liked this video and its message, please like it, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel to watch more such inspiring videos. Thank you.